Greetings, this is Earthman, once again, from Origami's Living Soil, servant of the Most High God, the God of my brain. He rules my mind and soul, and uh, he's an amazing God who just keeps amazing me every day. And, um, well, what do we have here? We have part two um, of our experiment of uh, VAM mycorrhizal. Um, what I did is I, uh, on the left, I took some potato dextrose agar I, I, I whipped up. And, uh, and on the uh, right here is some um, living soil that I uh, brought uh, up from downstairs. I have, uh, you know, getting ready for the spring to start some of my seedlings in. And I filled these containers. And then what I did is I sprinkled the VAM uh, on top of each one and uh, mycorrhizal and just to see what would happen and boom and we have we have uh, action going on here so um, uh, on the right here as you can see there is a little bit of action going on uh, a few colonies that have been formed um, but not as much as over here whoa it looks like a fur jacket on this on the left as you can see, amazing results. And, you know, the, re the reason there is there's a lot of carbs there for the mycorrhizal to grow in, in, in numbers and in size. Uh, I mean, look at the hyphies just going crazy there. And that is what's underneath your soil when you apply uh, mycorrhizal to your root system. They need carbs to live. And uh, they get 100% of that from your plant. That's what your plant does. It uh, makes oxygen for us to breathe, provides food for us to eat or whatever, or beauty or, you know, whatever you grow plants for. And um, here's the top thing. Uh, uh, you know, they feed the colonies. They feed uh, the bacteria, the carbs. They put out carbs, which in the form of sugars. And um, I'll just try to give you a closer look. And, uh, yeah, that's a furry, a uh, whole bunch of colony. Yeah, was, there's probably more uh, life there than on the planet Earth if you wanted to look at when it comes to humans versus bacteria or fungi. Um, a ton going on there. It's a whole world system. Um, if we were able to shrink ourselves down to a micro size, uh, we would be lost in that jungle. So I just wanted to do a part two of this video. And as you can see, uh, we had some action going on over here. Uh, look at that earth. That is some beautiful earth. And that's going to make some great um, inoculant uh, seed starter when I start my seeds. Um, and over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this potato dextro agar colony. Um, I might just throw it into one of my garden beds or mix it into my soil uh, my seed starter soil that I have downstairs and a kiddie pool that I mixed and uh, it's ready and waiting. And um, so I encourage you, this is Earth Man encouraging you to consider uh, not using chemicals uh, but uh, you know finding bacteria and fungi to put in your soil. And there's lots of videos out there including mine how to do that. Now I purposely bought um, targeted microbes to break down a uh, different type of organic uh, nutrients that uh, normally would take uh, six months or years to break down. And uh, these little babies break it down and make it plant ready really quick and the mycorrhizal will bring it back. Remember, mycorrhizal uh, doesn't uh, necessarily fulfill all your plants needs there are some nutrients that um, don't uh, not, you know they might get broken down but not as quickly as the targeted microbes like I said I have you know bacteria to break down silica magnesium phosphorus I got some uh, nitrogen locking bacteria that take it right out of the atmosphere and put it right into your root system in the form of uh, nitrogen ammonia type stuff and um, you know, having living soil is an amazing thing because your plants will grow way better than anything that miracle Grow or any other chemical can do. So, once again, this is Earth Man from Origami's Living Soil just uh, showing you the second part of this video 
one more close up of this one. Yikes! That's uh, that's some furry stuff there. I think this uh, needs a shave. And uh, and like I said, there's not as much carbs in here because there's no living plant there to provide the carbs. But um, there is some colonies forming, as you can see here and there. And so uh, that's living soil for you, my friends. And so I'm going to end this video. May God bless you and your family and your plants. And don't remember. Just remember that uh, God is real and He loves you. And uh, you know He blesses us every day with nature. I mean, He gives us oxygen, and water, and food. And don't take your uh, you know. If you're alive, there's hope. And if you're alive, you know, be thankful that God is good. And may God bless you. Peace out.